Mr. Marks was talking about his psychiatrist, and I decided I'd surely better be well adjusted before I went into such a shaky business. And uh, uh, so I decided I should be analyzed, and I went to this analyst. He's helped me a great deal. In fact, uh, I am so much better now that I get to sit up. <laughs> <laughs> problem is, Tom is a wonderful man. I don't see the problem either, but let's go to Ollie Williams for the in-depth analysis. Ollie? Ladies old! Thanks, Ollie. Over to you, Peter. Oh, shoot, what can I tell you? I wore a low-cut gown to a party. The cheese dip turned bad. <laughs> The minute I walked in, I knew that they would know who I was because my breath is so bad. If you ever get to be president, and I think you may, and there's a depression, try not to have it at a bad time, like when everybody's out of work. My face has been pulled up more times than Bill Clinton's pants. world who's absolutely crazy about my legs, Colonel Sanders. You open doors for people like me, like Rosie Joan Rivers, and many, many more. You're a pioneer, like Lewis and Clark, both of whom I believe you dated. This picture has been on my door for years. I have it here because I love Phyllis Dillon. She is an iconic master of the craft. When I look back on my early childhood in Lima, it was, the word is, ideal. And just like balls the size of an elephant. The comic, the stand-up comic. A woman, it was just almost unheard of. Now, why didn't I think of that? Oh, because it's suicide. I know everyone talks about you being a trailblazer, and you were the first in so many ways, and you're just funny. You know, you're not funny for a girl, you're just funny. And when I walked into the house, some impetuous fool grabbed me. I swooned as a lady should. Then I woke up when the clock struck the quarter hour. On my head! Uh, She's opened the doors for so many uh, comedians. <laughs> we just stood up and talked about being a wife and a mother, and you know, and, and how it wasn't the uh, wholesome, rewarding thing that everyone would have you think it was. <laughs> On behalf of the Northwest Ohio Film Foundation, the Northwest Ohio Independent Film Festival, and her legions of fans from her hometown of Lima and around the world, it gives me great pleasure and honor to present Phyllis Diller, comic icon, comic trailblazer, and comedic genius with the 2012 Lifetime Achievement Award. Oh, you're going to give me that. Oh, <laughs> well, then I like you already. <laughs> oh, oh, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? And what a lovely gift 
Well, it is a stunning award. Thank you. It is just gorgeous. It is absolutely beautiful. Plus, the thought behind it warms my heart. Thank you. Whoever would have thought that little old Lima, Ohio would end up the fast track. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Lima has always been a creative place full of bright people doing bright things. And I'm so honored to be from Lima. And I thank you so much, Lynn, for this honor. I feel very honored. And I'm also very, very happy for Lima that Lima keeps going on and on and onward and upward. And you know that we have built a wonderful entertainment complex with the help of Ginny Krause, who generously gave money. And we must always keep money coming in for the arts because it's very difficult to, to, to convince a lot of people that art is worthy. But it is a worthy thing. It's the icing on the ca cake. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> it was so nice of you to come all the way from Lima, which is pretty much East Coast, clear to the West Coast, and bring me this very heavy and fancy award. I, I'm going to treasure this. When I say all my life, that ain't so long. <laughs> you know, you get real old and you think of uh, how little time there is left. This is one of the high points of what time I have. I wish every little child could grow up in a Lima because there were so many cultural aspects that we took for granted. Uh, we uh, got together all year and, and studied and practiced and rehearsed the Messiah by Handel, Handel, and then we produced it and it was wonderful to hear all those voices. Worked all year, Christmas we sang it. And you see, those things I don't believe exist in every little town. I think Lima is special in that way. And uh, I wish other towns would copy Lima and become a, a little, well, I used to call it a cesspool of culture. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, I wish that every child could live in a town like Lima where people got along with each other. There weren't that many divorces. It was a divorce was a big deal. And if the fire, fireman went through town fast one day, that was excitement. <laughs> I prefer that kind of slow excitement, safe, slow excitement. But I'm very proud of Lima. And, uh, I, I, it's, you know, you read, and, and there's television things about children going to school carrying guns and things. I read all that crap makes me sick. It shouldn't be happening. Of course, that it comes down from the parents. The parents must got to be better parents. We need better parents. Yeah. See, my parents <laughs> were, they were, they were just so down to earth, you know, plain old parents, plain. You do good. That's what you're going to do, kid. You're going to grow up good. Did you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> So you try to grow up good. I think I grew up pretty well. I think you did too. And because here I am with you, Lynn, and you have given me this beautiful award, and I'm very grateful to you. Oh, thank you so much. I want these kids to be good kids. When you started, you had your your first gig at the Purple Onion, <laughs> way back in, in you know 1955. 55. Did you did you ever think when you, when you had that first when you when you went on stage that first time that you would 
have the career that you've had. You've yes, I did. I intended to. You, you don't have these by accident. This was my plan. And of course I felt it right then. Yes, you must know where you're going. You must decide where you're going. Then go. She oh, incidentally, I was making $60 a week. Was that a lot of money back then? No. <laughs> it never was a lot of money. <laughs> No, I just want you to know, you work your way very slowly up. You've done a lot of work with Bob Hope. Yes, a, a lot of my best work was with Bob. And you, you went with him to Vietnam. Yes, and that what, was a big trip. What was, that, what was that like? Well, that was very exciting because it was a real war, and they were dropping bombs around, and uh, it was a, everything was big, you know, big airplanes and... The helicopter seated 38 people, and, and they had guns out the windows, bang, 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 you know. So it was real, but we were, we were proud to be a part of it and to be able to spread cheer. That's all we really did, were morale boosters. Yeah. What, you, you've now made the, the transition from, from uh, comedy to art, and I, I know that you, you've done a lot of... Uh, oh, the art. And so why, 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 why did you make that? Or was there, was there even a transition? Did you just naturally... I've been painting, I've been drawing pictures and painting all my life. It's just that I finally decided to press that button. I, I love art. Art is, should be a part of everyday life. It should be a part of breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> And, and, and what, what inspires um, the artwork that you create? Just at moments of the day. A lot of girls were afraid of the stage, but then they saw me alone on stage. She's, there she is, she's standing there. She's standing there, she's just talking. Well, she said something funny. And I'm going to leave you with my favorite joke. I love it beyond belief. A mother is trying to get her son up in the morning. And she's running into a lot of <laughs> static. And he says, give me one good reason I have to get up. She says, you're 42 and you're the principal. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Diller, thank you so very much. You are an inspiration to women. You're an inspiration to artists. You're an inspiration to comedy. Um, thank you so much for, for giving us the time and welcoming, wel welcoming us and the festival into your home and into your lives. Thank you. <laughs> Leave the laughs in. <Yeah. laughs>